Hello friends, welcome to channel Teach Me Technically. What we are going to learn in this playlist is we are going to study computer architecture and the processor what we are going to study is MIPS. For all those who have not yet subscribed to our channel Teach Me Technically, subscribe it now. So let's start. What we are going to learn in this lecture is register transfer language. So according to Wikipedia, in computer science, register transfer language is a kind of intermediate representation that is very close to assembly language, such as that which is used in a compiler. It is used to describe data flow at the register transfer level of an architecture. So there are some rules for our register transfer language and these rules include some symbols so basically there is an arrow symbol and this arrow symbol tells that the value of the register is going to be saved in another register so the value of the register which is at the tail of the arrow is going to be saved in the register at which the arrow head is pointing so this is arrow symbol so our next symbol is square brackets Square brackets are used when we need to store something in our memory or we want to fetch something from our memory. The registers written inside the square brackets actually refers to the location of the memory address. So basically square brackets actually helps us to store or load a word from our memory. The register written inside the square brackets actually means that the value stored in the register is actually the address of the memory location at which we want to store a word or we want to fetch a word from that location. So we have a subtraction symbol which actually subtracts two uh, values of our registers for example and we have a multiplication symbol for multiplication and we have a division symbol for division. So next symbol is AND symbol and it is used to perform logical operation AND on registers. And the next symbol is for OR operation and for XOR operation, we simply write XOR. For example, what we need to do is R1 plus R2 and there is an arrow which is pointing towards R3. So in this example, what we are actually doing is we are simply adding the values of register R1 and R2 and then saving the sum in the register R3. So basically what is going on here is we have used the plus symbol which actually tells that we are going to add the values of both the registers. So there is an arrow symbol which is actually telling us that we are actually going to save the value which is computed right here in the register R3 because R3 is towards the head of the arrow. So basically what's going on here is we are simply performing the multiplication operation on two registers and then saving the value in R5. Here we can change it like subtraction. What will happen is we are simply subtracting the values of two registers and then saving the value in register R5. And similarly we can replace it by division. So this example shows that what we need to do is we have to simply add register R1 and R2 and save its value in R5 because arrowhead is pointing towards R5. So what this example says is actually uh, I'm going to find the submission of R1 and R2 register and then I want to save its value. The arrowhead is pointing towards this bracket and R5 and what it actually means that I want to save the value in the memory. These square brackets actually refers that we are actually going to perform some operation on memory location. So what I actually meant is uh, in the memory location of 100 I actually want to save the submission result of R1 and R2 register. So what is actually happening in this instruction is that I have written uh, R5 plus 100 in square brackets and there is R4 register towards which arrow is pointing. So what I actually meant by this instruction is that simply add 100 to the value stored in R5 register and then compute a value and that value is actually the memory address. And what I need to do is I want to go to that memory address 
and fetch the value that is stored at that particular memory address and store that value in my register R4. So now what we are going to do is we are going to discuss AND, OR and XOR. For example, I have written here the AND symbol. So it actually means that we have to take the AND of R1 and R2 and save the result in R3 register. So similarly, like AND operation, what we need to do is we, we can do OR operation or simply XOR operation. And what it actually means is we need to take XOR of R1 and R2 register and then save its value in R3 register. So friends, if you understand the lecture, do comment in the comment box and let me know because it motivates me to make more videos. So I hope you understand the lecture. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any question, do comment and subscribe to our channel Teach Me Technically. Thanks for watching friends.